we've been moving toward this point, and now young white scholars, liberal white scholars, in quotation marks, are coming out saying things that, like, uh, slavery was, was, was almost an absolute good. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's frightening that this is happening in the white academic community. I think it's frightening that so-called white liberals are largely responsible for some of the reactionary books we've gotten in recent years. Do you feel the same about black exploitation films? I feel the same way about black exploitation films. And I, and I say frankly and admit frankly that although white people control the press strings, a lot of black people have been involved in turning out trash for black consumption. I'm as opposed to black exploitation films as I am exposed to the white exploitation tracks put out by white academics. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Bennett, you uh, mentioned institutional discrimination. Would you expand on that, please? As I meant that we must become sophisticated enough to understand how individuals discriminate against blacks and, and, and other people in this society. But we, we must also understand how institutions are programmed to work in such a way that they, they, that they react unfavorably on blacks and other minorities in this country. Uh, if, for example, we have um, excluded blacks from, from the plumbing trade for years, it's simply not enough to say now that, all right, we'll let any black that we can find who can practice the plumbing trade in. The fact is that we've been excluded for years, that certain compensation should, com compensatory efforts are necessary to, to redress that. Uh, to use certain in tests to weigh people for certain jobs. Certain tests have weighed in biases. Uh, and it's not necessary to say black at all. It's not necessary to say Negro at all. You just run these tests out and you exclude all black people. Certain institutions exclude in certain ways. And we must be sensitive to the ways in which institutions exclude people in this country. As an author, what are your views on books such as Time on the Cross? I think it's the climax of, of, of a disastrous and frightening campaign of reaction in white academic circles in this country. We've been moving toward this book for eight or ten years. Quantitative analysis, the Jinx's, Jinx's book, uh, Shockley, Jensen, uh, 